Breaking news overnight out of North County. A pedestrian is in the hospital after a highway crash. What we know so far. A weather alert for drivers today. Rain mixing to snow later on. We'll talk about how much is on the way for St. Louis and what the rest of the weekend holds. Tracking the snow from the ground. We're keeping an eye on road conditions in our five on your side storm tracker. A heads up for drivers on both sides of the river. The weekend lane closures spanning Missouri and Illinois. A welcoming community creates an economic boom. Business owners share why they chose the setup shot in Florissant. Smashing state records. How Incarnate Word's basketball team solidified its dynasty last night. I believe as, as humans that we're built to walk uphill at all times. Conquering the coffee business, how a college athlete is achieving the American dream in my loop. This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. Good morning, everyone. We're waking up in a weather alert on this Friday as snow starts to accumulate around the bi-state area. You can see it's moving in from the west right now. And our storm tracker shows the snow is indeed falling in Pike County and it appears to be sticking mm. to the road as well. But you know what? It is a Friday, so we can <laughs> smile about that. It is also February the 16th. I'm Rennie Knott. I'm Michelle Lee. We just want to say thanks for joining us, including those of you who might be watching us on 5 Plus. Yeah, busy morning here. You yes. know, maybe you want to make a long weekend out of this situation mm. because... Yeah, Friday, stay indoors. Stay indoors. Yeah. Monday's President's Day. Why not yeah. have a four-day weekend? Yeah, I know some of the kids are out of school today, including yeah. my own. So oh, they don't have yeah. a long weekend. <laughs> they already took that. You already have it. Uh, yeah, you saw the the ground there getting covered. Mm -hmm. That's in Pike County now. Pike County usually has a little different weather than we do here in St. Louis Metro. So when it starts to snow, it's not going to stick like it is there. Their numbers are right at 32. Okay. St. Louis Metro, we're up close to 38 right now. So it's going to take a while for it to snow. And in fact, in Pike County, it has been snowing since about 1, 2 o'clock this morning. And so that's why it is starting to stick there. For us in St. Louis, we have hardly any snow in the metro just yet. So it may take a couple hours of a good snow to come on down before we start to see that stick. Mostly just wet to start. And where it is snowing still right now, north of St. Louis, Bowling Green, you see there in the thick of it, even parts of Lincoln County. These purple shaded counties here, that's the winter weather advisory north of St. Louis. And that's where you're going to have the most sticking snow. But you see in St. Louis Metro, North County, up in the Alton, Grafton, back towards Wentzville, starting to see a few snow flurries develop. We'll have a mixture to start turning into all snow later today. Numbers do come down while they're up now closer to freezing later this afternoon. We'll talk about how much snow is on the way and where the worst of it will set up through the day ahead. Let's go over to Paul Cook now as things are starting to change. Six o'clock hour, I think by the seven o'clock it will be uh, coming down pretty good. Paul, what are you finding? Well, absolutely. We're talking weather. We're looking about your weather, looking to see what we can find. And then it's volume and construction. When they go together, you could have something happening here. Right now, you really aren't seeing too many delays, though. 270 northbound. We do have a police incident here and a wreck. 270 northbound at Manchester. And I was looking 42 miles an hour. Not going too fast there on the highway. We'll take the map and move to the west, where we were seeing some flurries and something coming down a little bit of of a mix there at 6440 and 70 in Wentzville and you could tell that uh, that little area could be rough. We'll keep an eye on it because volume can get heavy right there. So we'll talk about that coming up. Weather first meteorologist Gary Frank woke up early with us this morning and he joins us from the storm tracker. Hey Gary, where are you right now? Yeah, good morning, Paul. Uh, you know, for a while, obviously, it takes us a while to, to find any of the snow. And for a while, it's like, hey, the pavement's wet. It's no big deal. <laughs> it's changed a lot for a couple of reasons. One, the temperature is falling. But let's look ahead. I mean, this is a pretty impressive snow for, uh, for a lot of reasons. One, the biggest story for us right now is temperatures down to 29 degrees here in the car. That has dropped about 10 degrees since we left downtown St. Louis. And you know what you'll see is the visibility. And I know that this car is going by me. It's a big truck and it's got some weight behind him. 
Uh, we're going about 40, so he's going a little faster. The visibility is down. I would say it's definitely under a half a mile. As you see, we're coming up on the exit here to eat back to Eolia. We did go a little further north of that, so we're heading back south here on 61. From uh, uh, we're going to head toward Troy again, but this is the heaviest burst of snow on radar. As you look behind me, uh, it's coming down pretty consistently. The roads have started to get coated with a light dusting of snow, um, and it's sticking pretty good now. For one, we've talked about how warm the uh, warm the road surface is. Uh, overall, right? It's been warm up here to the north as you've continued to see uh, roadway and soil temperatures somewhere in the mid to upper 40s, right around 50 with our, one of our warmest starts to February ever. But it doesn't take much of this light to moderate burst of snow to overcome those roadway surfaces for a couple of reasons. One, our air temperatures are below freezing and now we have the snow that's continuing to make the pavement surface cold doesn't mean that you know once the burst of snow goes away we might see some melting but this is going to cause some issues uh it's been a little difficult to drive in a few spots i got to be honest with you uh we're down to uh you know about 40 45 miles an hour so it's changed a little bit for us and, and you'll see that uh the visibility is down we're starting to see these roadways coated so the further north this is the reason for the winter weather advisory that anthony has been mentioning so the the snow is picking up this is going to continue to work its way into st louis as temperatures will fall so uh, like I said, we've gone about 10 degrees down as I look behind me. Uh, the visibility is down pretty consistently, and if nothing else, it's just because the sun is not up, right? So we're not, we've are not. we got darkness, we've got our headlights into the snow, which looks like a star field. Uh, so visibility is down, roads are coated. Uh, we'll continue to update you as we're back into Lincoln County now, and we'll have another update for you shortly. Thank you, Gary. You can get the weather first forecast sent straight to your phone. Simply text the word weather to 314-425-5355 and we will send you a link. Breaking news right now from Interstate I-270 and 70. The highway has reopened. All northbound lanes were shut down earlier this morning after a pedestrian was struck. No word right now on that person's condition. We'll keep you updated as soon as we learn more. Traffic along I-270 near the chain of Rocks Bridge is moving smoothly this morning, but it could be a different story a little later this evening. Holden Kowicki is live near 270 and Riverview with the closure that could impact your weekend plans, Holden. Well, Michelle, as you well know, this time of the year, the Chain of Rocks Bridge is popular for eagle watching. But if you're traveling across I-270 from St. Louis into Madison County this weekend, you're going to want to keep an eye out not for the birds, but for all of the road construction. <laughs> Weather permitting, IDOT plans to begin lane closures along eastbound I-270 between Route 3 in Madison County and Riverview Drive in North St. Louis County at 9 o'clock this evening. One lane will remain open at all times, but IDOT is warning that drivers should be on the lookout for flaggers and, if possible, consider using an alternate route to get back and forth across the river. Now, these closures will remain in place throughout the entire weekend, but the good news is things will be reopened all lanes in all directions by 5 a.m. Monday morning. Reporting live in North St. Louis County, Holden Kerwicki, 5 on your side. Now for some snowflakes in the background there and haven't seen too much in St. Louis Metro just yet, but it is coming. In fact, the next couple of hours, we'll start to see that pick up. I think around eight o'clock as the kids head off to the bus stop, that's when we'll see it widespread. So you'll definitely have a mixture of rain, sleet and snow coming down, changing all snow through the day. But a lot of this is just going to melt on contact before it starts to stick. Our numbers do come down, though, as we go through the day. About 34, there's 33 uh, later on. You can see it's a large band of snow that extends all the way out into Nebraska. So we still have a few hours to get through uh, the bulk of this. But it has been snowing north of St. Louis in Pike County, Lincoln County, since early this morning, about 2, 3 o'clock. And it's still snowing there, stretching into Carrollton and Jerseyville, Litchfield as well. And that's where you're going to have the most sticking snow. You go right south of 44 into Rolla. You've We've got rain and even into parts of Farmington and Perryville approaching in Bloomsdale spotty rain shower. So some of us, depending on where you're watching, uh, it's liquid and others it's snow. But for St. Louis Metro, you see we're still dry for now. Alton into Grafton, even over towards Staunton. You do have those snow showers that are developing. So it's really uh, for drivers today. Weather alert in place. If you're just sitting at home and enjoying the day off or maybe uh, working remotely, you shouldn't have too many issues. Just watch those sidewalks and side streets later on today. One to two inches coming for St. Louis Metro. We'll talk about the rest of the weekend coming up. This morning, we have a better idea of the motive behind the deadly mass shooting at the Chiefs Super Bowl parade. What Kansas City police are ruling out this morning? Filling up Florissant. How many new businesses opened up in the North County City in just one year?